I'm here, I'm here, I'm back. So for a while I've been using this uh, this big pin that is the medium. It says medium right there. Right there. And I realized something recently, and that is that this fine tipped Bic is going to do a better job in the uh, in the world of shading. In shading's world, before I was using this pilot pen, and I've had some issues with the ink of late. The ink on in that pen is great, actually, but uh, the manufacturer decided to change the ink formula, and it's not as good as it was. And so I'm not going to keep using it because. I don't want to be halfway in the middle of a piece and not to change inks. Also, inks. Also, uh, I just don't like the new ink, so this is fine. So let's uh, boom in on the zoom and get going here. By the way, there's another thing to say about these big pens. This uh, big pen that is the medium is good for doing what I'm about to do right now, which is just using quick lines right here here we go okay so I did all these very quick lines and also I believe that the uh, this larger nib would be good for very fast shading that you're not too concerned about the quality of it blocking really like so so I'll do this for a bit and then I'll get in with the, the fine tip so you can see the difference hopefully you can see the difference because there is a difference you have to trust me on that I experienced it recently Weird that I would say recently, huh? Because I've been doing this ballpoint pen stick for a while. Quite a long time. 20 years? Of course, we've all used ballpoint pens our life. Throughout our life. But, um, yeah. How many of us have drawn with them? What can I say about this piece exactly? Not much. Just like so many others, I started it on a whim. Just needed to get some some creativity out. Need to get some sketching going, and I I got some sketching going. And that's why we are here today with this piece. And that's what I'm doing now as as well, getting some sketching going. Getting my sketch on. It's on. So you'll see the uh, the shading I'm doing here with this fatter nib, thinner nib. Yeah. So where shall I show you? How about, yeah, so I want to make this very nice quality. I need to warm it up a bit. Oh, I'm not using my protector like a dummy. So I was using a protector. Just forgot. I forgot. All right. So this is warmed up. So the ink wasn't flowing very well earlier, and now it is. Look at that. It's so light. Same with the thicker nib. I am not pressing very hard at all. 
and uh, this is the result. Down in here, I'm not really pressing. Well, I am obviously, but hardly at all. Just tapping it. Your hand has, your arm has to be fairly relaxed. I get tense, and then that doesn't work as well. Try not to tense up. It's still obviously, obvi it's not obvious, honestly, I'm going to be honest here. Let me be honest for a second. Everything else has been a lie. What I was trying to say is this. The pilot pen is still superior. No matter how much I want the Bic to be the superior ink. The classic pilot ink is superior. It's the best I've ever had. And that's why it saddens me. That it no longer is being manufactured. Maybe they're going to change their tune. Who knows? But at, currently they're, they've are they cheapened the ink or they've put another ingredient in there that just... It, it's no good. Yeah, but that's not bad. That's not too shabby. In order to make it a little more mm, uh, even in tone, I would come at it from... Now, this wouldn't be a cross-hatching if I'm going to come at it from the opposite end in the, in the completely opposing way. Not perpendicular, but uh, just running the same lines, just coming at it from the, the opposite angle or end. Or angle. No, I don't know what it is. So here, yeah, see it's evened out a bit. <clears throat> now if you want to even add out even more, but you run the risk of having it become shades darker, but you can do it, is running it at a cross hatching. And this is good for blending, really. Also good for butting right up against the the key line there, the border. All right, so yeah, that's all. Oops. That's all right. Nay. Okay. Back to the larger one because I'm gonna just brute force this area. I think I'm gonna add some some dead black in here as well. I call it dead black because there's no life. It's just Charcoal. Charcoal black is what uh, the pilot pen did to their ink, basically. They just deadened it. Fine for writing. Not so good for drawing, in my opinion. And uh, I don't blame Pilot for going with a, um, what I suspect is a cheaper version of their ink. It's, it's a good decision. They're not being supported, I don't think, by artists. They're... Their customers are people who just use the pen to write things with, I, I imagine. What do I know? Maybe maybe we're all artists that are supporting Pilot.
I think I'm trying to be too careful here. Don't be too careful. You can never be too careful. Yes, you can. And I am being too careful here. So, if I was to just be a little reckless. This is a sketch, after all. It needed to be filling the halls of the Smithsonian. Or the Louvre. The Louvre will not house my art. Because I am not French. And it just... It is not good enough. I suspect if I was French, it would be good enough. Eh? Hmm. The confidence on that on that person. It's astounding. I astound. Which leads to more confidence. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> Aha. So, one more go, and then I'm going to bust out the black. The dead black. The charcoal black. It's got eye, black eyes. Black as Daw's eyes. That was a reference to a to a movie, a very famous movie. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not not Wolf of Wall Street, no. But the directors know each other. They're probably buddies. I would imagine. They probably talk to each other. Hey. I like your movie. I like your movie. I like your movie more. Yeah, all right. Yeah, my movie's probably best. One of them would say. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I have to, I get to, it's a, it's a pleasure, something, I don't have to, I get to fill in some of this area with black and I'm not sure where is best. When I say black, I'm not talking about the, the ballpoint pen ink, I'm talking about this other ink, I'm using this liquid Thin liquid paint, and it is I, I, well, ink paint. Maybe it's maybe it's paint. I think it's ink though. Pretty sure it's ink. Ink is paint. What am I talking about? Well, let me show you. Let me show you. It'll take just a second. I gotta get back on track here. I lost my footing. So I'm gonna have to 
See about regaining the traction. Yeah, this was the curve here was different before, and I have to not put it back, but I need to alter it so that it works because it doesn't work right now. Why isn't it working well? Because it's it's all freaky. That's why it got freaky. I think that's a reference to a movie as well. Such as life. Hardly pressing. Very little pressing. Just keep tapping and getting the ink out. Putting it on the page by just little by little by little. Dot, dot, dot. Doesn't look like dots, but uh, yeah, that's what that was. I was dotting it up. All right. Now, what I was asking about before was this area right here. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? So, I think I'm just gonna do it, and then let's just call it done. Then, right? I'm gonna do it, and it'll be done with the charcoal black. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I see. So this other area that I was going to do here, I can just do a little bit. I don't need to do a lot. Right. So. And I was going to put something in here, but I think I'm just going to put one little liney. Little liney liney. Just a little liney. And then we can just let that be. All right, I see some areas. Like right here. And how about... Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? And here it is, well. I can just... Like so. Yeah. Ah, that's good. You know, that's where I am now, so far. It's good. It's a good little... Little piece. Little piece of pie. <laughs>